Hey guys, this is Steven Mann from GuitarMan.com and I'm going to show you how to play the song Everlasting God. This was made popular by Chris Tomlin. It's a great praise and worship song and even has a cool little lick in there. Now if you want, you can go over here in this description box and there's a link in there where you can download the chart and follow along with me as I show you how to play the song. So again, it's kind of a, the lick is kind of a medium difficult difficulty level, so if you're an absolute beginner, it might be tricky to play. If you're an advanced guy, it might be a piece of cake. Who knows? It's somewhere in the middle, but I'll show you how to play it. Now, this song's written in the key of C sharp, which means we can capo one and use C chords. <laughs> We can capo all the way on six. And use G chord shapes instead. This might be a little easier. By the way, if you're confused about how to use a capo or want to learn more about it, visit Guitar Man. Uh, I do a lesson on how to use a capo and why capos change things and how exactly they work. So let's stay here on the sixth fret using G chord shapes. Now, wherever your capo is, is kind of where your guitar starts. So first fret, second, third. If you're starting with the G shape here, you can do your lick in this position. So it starts off with just a regular G shape. And then you're going to do a hammer-on with your pointer finger. Now, this is on the fifth string, your A string. You're hammering on zero to two with your pointer. And then right after that, you have two... D strings open, which is your fourth string. Now what's nice about the lick is you can support it with the rest of the chord. The next part of the lick is you're going to walk up on the A string. Zero, two, three. That's kind of your melody line. Zero, two, three. And you're hitting the rest of the chord with it. Now once you're at the three, kind of like a C2 position but without your pointer. You're going to walk backwards into G. So three, two, zero, back to a G. And from, from this G position, we're back at home base, we're going to walk back up to C, back to G, back up to C, and just go back and forth. to do the lick capo six using the G chord shape. You can also capo one and use the C chord shape. You're going to start with the C. You're going to hammer on with your middle finger, which that's the D string, zero to two, and then right after that you're going to hit the G twice. same walk but with the, the D string 0, 2, 3 and then backwards into C. This by the way when you keep your pointer on this chord right here is kind of an F open chord. This has a pretty unique sound, a nice open sound and from here you're gonna walk back into C. carries the verse, you're playing the guitar part, the melody line, along with what's being sung. So it's a really cool lick that you, again, you can do in the C position or capo six in the G position. Now, if you look at the rest of the chart, you can see lots of little hatch marks, and that means that chords are pushed by an eighth note. So your strum, you're going to have to be careful to jump into a chord earlier than you normally would, for instance. it sounds like this. You can hear 
some of the chords jump in er a little bit earlier. Um, to understand this completely, if you're completely new to the pushed eighth strum pattern or, or what a pushed eighth is, you can check out a lesson on guitarman.com uh, in the Essentials series that explains that. But just know for this song, that's kind of the tricky element to it is jumping into those chords an eighth note early. The chorus, however, is nice and simple. So it's just uh, two chords stacked together, straight strum pattern. You don't have to worry about pushes or anything like that all the way through the chorus. So you might want to start with the chorus, try to master that first, start feeling good about the song, listen to it a lot. That's the best way to learn a song is to listen to it, get familiar, get familiar with the pattern of it and everything that's going on. And then you can try out the little lick I showed you and then work on those pushes in the verse. To see more and to have more access to resources, visit guitarman.com.